Hey, this is Andrew Brown, and welcome to the AWS Cloud Project Bootcamp. Um, in our live stream, there was a tool being talked about called the Well-Architected Tool, and students weren't exactly sure what it was, so I just kind of wanted to expand on it and give you an idea for homework that you can do for week zero. So the Well-Architected Framework uh, started out as a, um, a document, um, and so this is, if you just type in Well-Architected Framework, you can find it on AWS. Other providers like Azure and GCP have some kind of equivalent and might be named extremely similar, but the idea is that AWS first made this PDF and it had five pillars. They recently added sustainability, um, so there's now six. But if we go into, your, into HTML here, what we can see um, is this document here, and then it has the pillar frameworks that describes them all. So if I go into something like performance efficiency, best practices, selection, compute, um, the idea here is that it's going to basically ask you questions and then you answer them about your workload to say, did you make this to the best practices that AWS um, recommends? Um, and so if you can answer all that stuff in detail, the idea is you generate a report, you hold on to it as a living document with your team to make sure that you are doing the best job when building out your cloud workloads. So this document here is um, uh, fine, but now they've, what they've done is they've built out, and I've never clicked this labs button. I wonder if this goes to the same place. Okay, so they have labs now that you can go through. I'm not sure how useful this is. There's a lot of stuff going on here. I guess you can look at it. it seems a little bit, uh, quite a bit, but anyway, um, what they did was they said, well, we have this document, but we want to make it easier for folks to generate out that um, document for their organization. So they created basically a fancy checklist where they ask you questions and you provide answers and it generates out a report um, called the Well-Architected Tool. So if you go to the top here and type in Well-Architected Tool, and we go define a workload, we can name our workload. And by the way, I'll go back here. A lot of services have the splash screen. If you've created a resource, this won't appear. You'll see something else. But we'll go to the left-hand side. We can go here and say uh, workloads and define the workload. And I'll just say crutter. And the idea is you're supposed to describe the application, a brief description. Now, the question is, what do you fill in here is a good question. Um, maybe that's where these labs might come into handy. I, I'm not sure because if, I don't know if they actually walk you through um, that because these are all based on categories, right? So this is not setting up that document. Um, to AWS, I think it'd be great if you had a video that not just walked through this tool, but showed a good example, and I don't think they have that. Um, so a brief description of the workload to document its scope and intended progress. So um, uh, the cloud work, the uh, workload in question is being used, and this is a required field, so we have to fill, uh, fill it is, uh, for running a uh, social uh, uh, micro blogging platform uh, on AWS in a single region. Again, what you should put here, I'm not certain, but um, I know that we need to put something in here. Who's the owner? Who's going to review this? So I'm making the document, but who's responsible for it? So here we might say Andrew Bako, who's my co-founder. Um, you know, it could be like Bako at exampro.co or cloudprojectbootcamp.com. So here they don't even, they're not like saying it has to be an email, you're just specifying someone. So I'll say Andrew Bako. What kind of environment is your workload running? Well, it could be a pre-production or production. We'll say pre-production because we haven't deployed it yet. What regions are you running in? So I'll go here and say Canada Central, right? Um, any non-AWS regions? Um, here you could be saying like, uh, you know, running uh, within, like let's say a private org wanted to use it, you could put that there. Account ID, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, it's a, it's just a checklist. Like it's not going to do much with this data. I mean, some there's some things that are integrating with it, but that's the thing. An application is the custom collection of resources, meta tags, and stuff. So you can, if you had resources running, I guess you could select them. So if you didn't make this upfront and you're doing it uh, retroactively, you could select those there. A link to your architectural design. So remember that we are creating architectural design. This would be something good to put in here as a link, as a host. So you have a reference, industry type. Um, I mean, we are education, but this is maybe like social media, other. Uh, it could be like social media app, uh, social media. Trust advisor. This is a new one. Never saw it before. It uses information from your AWS regions and stuff. So it could pull stuff in. We'll leave that alone. We'll go next. Because what I really want to show you is those questions. Uh, lenses is the idea that you have a well-architected framework, which is the standard one. But you can say like, well, if I'm building a service workload, let's do it in the lens of the focus of that. 
Um, and then we have SAS. So there's just not that many there, but we'll do the Wildcard Framework because it's all we need to do. And we're going to define our workload. Um, and then we get to our questions or reviews. So we'll go here and say start reviewing. And now we start getting questions. So this is all the stuff that's just extracted out of, not this part, but um, of this HTML document, right? So you go in here and those questions that we were looking up, like if we were to look at ops um, and we go to the pillars here and we go to operational excellence and we go uh, best practices or organization, that might show up. So it should be the same thing. How do you determine your priorities how do you determine your priorities? So the advantage of doing it through here is that um, as you go through it, I believe it changes context. Yeah, so um, it's not showing here. Let's go here. So you click info, it always shows you each part of the document. Okay, so it's the same one here. So how do you determine what the priorities are? Ask an expert, that's funny. Everyone needs to understand their part in enabling the business success. Have a shared goal in order to set priorities for resource. Uh, this will maximize the benefit of your efforts. Um, obviously you can always just cop out by doing that, but let's say evaluate the external customer needs. So involve the key stakeholders, including business development and operations teams to determine where to focus efforts on external customers. This will ensure that you have a thorough understanding of that. So we checkbox it saying that we did it. Um, and then I guess the idea is you just read through it and you say, did I do these things? I, I could have swore I remember that you had to fill them in and, and provide uh, descriptions, but Oh, notes down below. Okay. So the idea is you just go through there and you evaluate those stuff. But I would think that if you made a real document, you would write for each one, like what you actually did to meet those requirements. Um, I thought that's what it was. But we'll go next to the next one. And you get the idea. It's the same thing all the way down. I'm going to hit save and exit. And the idea here is that uh, we have checks, so like if you have checked them, then it's like you're fine. If you haven't checked them, then you got some trouble here. Milestones, I don't remember what these are. But um, yeah, so again, my opinion about this is like, this is okay to go through and read it. But I think if you were to do this for real, I would go and actually write what I did for each of these. Because what's a checkbox do? Not much, right? Um but you could write them in notes, but yeah, that's the well-architect tool. Um, so yeah, you create a document, you generate this out, just some ideas there uh, for you, but uh, hopefully this um, helps out and there you go.